welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, video one. This is going to be... Okay, okay. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm really trying my best to make it as cliche as possible. Okay, again. Let's do this one more time, one more time, guys. Okay. I'm gonna try my best um, to get to get you guys to know more about me so that you can know um, about the person that you're subscribing to. Yeah, I don't actually speak like that. Okay. okay. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Violet. Subscribe to my channel, comment down below. Follow my Instagram accounts and my Snapchat. Add me on Snapchat. Follow me on... Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Violet and I'm just trying to get you... In this video, I'm going to try to get you guys to get to know more about the person that you are subscribing to. Um, funny story, I have so many videos that... um. I made before this for this particular um, for my YouTube channel that I had actually planned to execute over the summer period but now it's November so that's way beyond summertime but um, when I got it to one of my friends uh, some of my friends to see what I had done so far um, they said you know you can't actually keep saying Welcome back to your YouTube video or channel. Yeah, welcome back to your YouTube channel because you don't really have any videos, so no one has really been there. So I have had um, quite a number of videos that I have been taking for my channel, but I have not, I had not gotten the time to edit them. Some I actually have edited, and I'm, I'm new. <laughs> I'm here to this, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that um, a few moments later. Why am I making this seem so hard? It's not that hard. Okay, no, wait. I've been. I have. Been, uh, I. I have been trying to get videos for this channel for a long time. Um, I was actually supposed to be executing this YouTube plan um, over the summer holiday. It's now November, as you guys already know, and that's way beyond summer. Um, asked around some of my friends who have their own YouTube channels going and looked around, obviously, and um, I'm trying to... I've noticed that most people start with uh, get to know me. Um, video for the FSB. So, I asked a number of people on my WhatsApp and um, Snapchat. I didn't post on Instagram. I should have. But, um, yeah, I got a number of people to ask me a few questions um, to, to get to know me so that I can be able to answer them and get everybody else to know a little more about me. If you have any other questions I can always answer them in the in the in the next week my Instagram. I have two Instagram accounts. One is intended to be an a travel Instagram account and then the other is my personal account. It's not private so feel free to follow and ask me all the questions that it is that you have to ask. <coughs> Okay, so first question is, how are you? <sighs> this question. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. Um, what year was I born? I was born in 1998. Horoscope or star sign. I'm an Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, potato, potato. You know favorite fruit um i like pineapple oh, and um, bananas in that particular order and then sometimes you know it ranges between grapes and strawberries um yeah um what university am i at what major what do i major in um 
and how long have I been here? Oh, well, I'm a student in China, I'm a scholarship student in China on the China Scholarship Council. Scholarship, China government, Chinese government scholarship, basically. Um, I study uh, with this. When you're an undergraduate, you have to start with studying um, a language. You start with studying language um, in the first semester so that you can be able to, you know, acquaint yourself with the place and be able to speak and put yourself in different life situations that will need you to speak the language. And then the second semester, you get into um, language that is attained to your major. <coughs> major is International Trade and Economics. Oh, I was in Wuhan, in the United States of America. 山东中心小出,我的专业是国际贸易经济学,我是大三, um, yeah, University of Shandong in Jinan City in my third year, but I've been in China for four years. Wow! <laughs> Hello! 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 One more year, um, yeah, hoping to graduate. Believe in God to graduate in 2021. Uh, what's my spirit animal? I would go with, um, it depends, you know, my favorite animal. I like giraffes. Giraffe, giraffe, it's a giraffe, right? <laughs> Every time I say this, somebody always corrects me, so I'm not sure which is which. But yeah, it's a, I like that long animal, that, that animal with a long neck and walks like a model yeah i like it because it's so graceful in the way it walks you know it just it just tries i love it um then my spirit animal i would say is a lion i love lions they're calm and humble you don't expect them when you look at it okay now when you look at it you see it see all its majesty but then it's not like floating its majesty you know it looks humble and calm until you just try to get into its space and and uh, you can see its majesty also because i feel like um <clears throat> character wise i can relate <laughs> what is my biggest motivation in life um <clears throat> my most biggest motivator is um i don't really um the life I want to live, I would go with the life that I want to live because my, my future family, uh, God willing, um, he gives me life. My future family and the life, the type of life that I want to live and the type of life that I want to give my parents because of the type of life that they have given me. You know, I want to give them everything I can and more, but then also be able to give my family family from my womb everything they need and more, you know. And also because I really have no intentions of not being rich. <laughs> Is that a motivation? I can that pass as a motivation? Um, <clears throat> um, where do I work? I do not work. I'm a student. What is my go-to hot or cold drink? I like lemonades. But at the same time, it depends on where I am. I do like lemonades, um, especially um, when I travel. In China, um, you know, you become Chinese when you stay in China for a while. <laughs> so I love tea, you know, and I don't do it with sugar either. Um, yeah, I love tea. I love tea, but I also love coffee. Starbucks. If you're a real Starbucks drinker, you're here tonight, make some noise. If you're a real Starbucks drinker. Okay, all, all of y'all can suck my balls. Go to hot Starbucks drink is going to have to be. I almost collapsed and wanted to scream in my head. There's a time period um, when they took the Karma Mokiero off, off the menu here in China, and I was so frustrated. And now it's back, <laughs> and I'm excited. <clears throat> love it, love it, love it, my piece. How would I describe myself in the fewest words possible? Because this person says they know if I said three, if they say, if they ask me to describe myself in three to four words, I would, it would be impossible. Let me try and see if I can put them on. Violet is 
A born again Christian that's very passionate, confident, self driven. <laughs> type of fashion style I think I don't really like have a particular style of fashion because I pretty much just mix and match anything and everything um, that I find cute I'll just wear that and just maybe see how to pair it with what I have or what I can get for it does that make sense what's my go-to hairstyle in most cases, um, my go-to hairstyle, if I'm trying to do something quick, if it's not going to be a band, like a round band, it's a high-end ponytail when I was in high school. In my high school, um, one of my friends, her name is um, Ingrid. Shout out to you. She made me realize that most of the girls that went to that school, we always had them high-end ponytails. Like, just a minute, wait. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Like somewhere around. Just know, something like that, or I don't know. Uh, yeah, like the hair just kind of, the ponytail just kind of falls in a particular way. And I like that. I don't know, I realized that that's when I started it. But then, um, yeah. <laughs> I'll see what I need to my hair. Okay, um, do I have any siblings? Yes. Yes, I do. I have many, many siblings. I come from a family of 18. <laughs> I'm going to let you process that. Um, yeah, I come from a family of 18, of which I'm number 15. Um, we have five girls and 13 girls. No. Yeah. I think I meant to say guys. We have five guys and 13 girls. Yeah. When I'm hungry, what's the first thing, first, first and fastest thing that I would think about getting? Um, fastest. It depends on where I am. China, McDonald's, soon switching to Burger King because, you know, I don't know. My taste buds seem to be agreeing with Burger King more. Um, in Uganda, Cafe Javas, one way. Uganda, Kenya, Cafe Javas. Please do not confuse me. Conf uh, yeah. Confuse what I'm saying for Java House. Not Java House. Cafe Javas, also known as CJ's. If you're ever in Uganda, go to Cafe Javas. There's so many branches all over Uganda. So you cannot have an excuse of proximity. There's a Cafe Javas almost everywhere. So always make sure you go to Cafe Javas. The food is quick, affordable. There's a lot of quality in it and quantity, like quality and quantity and affordable in the same thing makes Cafe Javas. And it's tasty, crazy, crazy tasty. Um, do I have any bad habits? Yes. I kind of like suck on my tongue when I'm like really focusing on something. I, think. I discovered I still do like... <laughs> yeah, that. Habit one. Habit two, I try as much as I can to keep acrylics on my nails because I have a bad biting nails habit. But um, because I can't bite acrylics, I keep them... Yeah. But now... Not really because I've improved. See, okay. Um, what's the what's the one thing that surprises people a lot about you, or the one thing that people find hard to believe about you? I um, I I feel like 
maybe the foundation first first thing is gonna be they find it hard to believe that I have such a big family number one number two um, the fact that I'm a believer um, born again an aspect of my life that I take pretty seriously which most people will never really see I don't know they never expect it apparently I don't look like a church girl I don't know what church girl is supposed to look like but um but yeah number three that I can get shy as well guys I can get shy it depends on the situation but I can get shy okay what are some of those things that people don't know about me I feel like that's the same question um take me through your normal day what's your normal day like Ooh, that is uh something i don't think i have a normal day okay uh but i think in uganda in china i can't give you a particular normal day because every day is different to me and i try to keep myself as occupied as i can but in uganda um normal day i wake up you seem very confident and happy all the time how come uh, i think you also answer the question of um why are you happy all the time how do you manage to be happy all the time uh, my secret is not that when I say that guys it's not that I mean I don't want to get into a whole sermon here but um it's not that I mean that oh my goodness yeah when you're Christian and you pray that means you can never be sad and everything but when you have a certain peace a divine peace in your heart you kind of know that even if things are not okay they're gonna be okay I don't know if you get what I mean yeah what is the biggest struggle overcome that I've ever overcome um i had a back problem i fell down this three flights of stairs when i was um, 13 yeah when i was 13 which resulted into a major back problem later we didn't realize how big an effect it was so i kept bouncing from hospital to hospital and finally actually discovered it because it used to paralyze my legs especially my right leg so yeah eventually yeah the doctors didn't do anything for me but yeah i was healed miraculously yeah so i think that was the biggest struggle, struggle overcome i do love to dance um so that was a, a major 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 problem for me um if i had to go back in time kind of like gemini 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 the movie the will smith one that just i think it just came out it's recent what would you say to your younger self and vice versa I would tell myself to just kind of take it one day, to remember to take it one day at a time. I kind of have, I don't know if it's a problem, but I don't want to call it a problem, but for lack of a better word, I'll say a problem. I think so far ahead. So, um, um, my biggest fear, what's my biggest fear? Um, I used to fear when I had the bug problem, I feared never being able to dance in my life and when that happened because i feel like dance is my way of ministry and it's a gift that i have and not just ministry it's my way of so many things so i didn't know what i would do when that if that was taken away from me you know and being in certain situations sometimes helps you to be able to appreciate certain things um i also have i fear i'm such a friend person um i do mess up here and there as a friend um I've come to terms with the fact that I can mess up in friendships as well. Uh, but my biggest fear is losing my friends. I love my friends. I'm such a friend person. I treasure my friends. And I wouldn't want to lose anyone. But, you know, as you grow up, um, certain things here and there you learn that not everybody is good for you. But you don't want to. I find it hard to accept that. I mean, not get into that whole entire story. But yes. Um, coming back to the most memorable family moment that was funny and annoying. We came back. New Year's. My mom's birthday is on the last day of the year. 
So um, it's around 1 a.m. now. We're going back home and blah blah blah. So we get home. Luckily, we got into the gate, and then we discovered that um, we forgot the keys. We we dropped the key to the house somewhere at the beach. That was funny, but at the same time very very annoying. Yeah. Somebody asked me what my pet views are. Um, what are my pet peeves? What's the meaning of pet peeves again? But I think I'll have to do a part two of Get to Know Me. Um, get to Know Me part two, but um, for now, I think I'll only take these questions. Yeah. Once again, my name is Violet, and um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell, ding, 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 that you can keep getting notifications every time that I post a video for you guys. If you do not like this video, go ahead and tap that like button. If you like this video, go ahead and like that tap there, and tap at <laughs> like it one more time like 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 comment 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 ask as much as you can comment as much as you can um yes <laughs>